Hey, how's it going? Hope all is well. Uh, today, let's learn how to play TNT by ACDC from the High Voltage record. Now, I'm going to show you a few different ways to play it. I'm going to show you the way I played it, like in the intro, where you can do it with just one guitar and kind of add that rhythmic percussiveness. I'll also show you the way that they do it where you don't add that, and it's more like the record, like you're doing it with electric guitar. Um, we're in standard A440 tuning, just like the record, so go ahead, tune your guitars low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E. The song's moderate rock, about 126 beats a minute. Now I'll show you all the chords that I'll use throughout the versions. They're playing mainly power chords on the recorded version, but you're going to need E major. You know, I might use all six strings on the record. They're probably only just hitting the low four strings. Uh, and then you're going to need this G5 chord where you're just kind of playing the low E string at the third fret on that G note. Let your finger kind of fall over where you're not barring, but it mutes the A string. Right? And then just play open D, open G. So you just need those four strings to get that G5. You also could play this A5 chord. So you could just do this uh, open A and then second fret with a one finger bar on the D and the G. Or if you want to play the full A chord, you could play just a full... A major chord. That's pretty much all the chords that they use in the intro and the verses and the choruses. And hey, if you want a free video lesson in ebook, I have this killer ebook that has about 29 scales diagrammed out. It has tons of major minor key information, soloing information. It's a pretty killer reference ebook. You, you might be using it throughout your guitar journey. I'll send you that and a video lesson also to go with that. It's a killer one-two combination. I'll send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. So the song starts off with an intro that attaches to like the main riff, which is used pretty much through the, the verses. Let me play you for it. I'll attach both. And this is the way they're going to do it on the record. And then I'll also show you a way that you could do it that'll sound fuller rhythmically for one guitar. Uh, so here we go. See me ride out on the sunset on your TV screens, right? The vocals come in. So for the intro, play that E major chord, hit it once, let it ring, and then you're gonna start pumping the eighth notes. And the eighth notes are two notes per beat. One and two and three and four. And you can do that all downstrokes. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And I kind of build it up, hitting more and more strings of the chord, and then go from palm muting it, where my palm's just laying on the strings, kind of opening it up a little bit. And then last time, you start that main riff. All right, and that's the key riff throughout most of the song. So what I'm doing there is, and remember, in the intro too, you got that uh, bass drum. That's pumping the quarter notes, right? Um, okay, so, so you're gonna play that E, then you're gonna go to that G5 chord, then A5 chord, okay? Then you're gonna go, and then that's third fret, low E string, A5 chord, and then third fret again, low E string, but he puts a little bend in it, like a quarter step, just a little bit, just give a little attitude, and then you go back to the E. So that riff's slow. Again. And then you're just going to keep repeating that riff. The last time he does that, he just goes. So it's just E, G5, and you let that A5 ring. Because then he's going to start going with that because I'm G and T. I'm dynamite. Let me show you that part. And if you could do me a huge favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps me to keep bringing the content. And ring that subscription bell because then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. Also, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you like this lesson, what lessons you'd like to see coming up in the future. And if you like this video, please smash that like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. So you consider this a second progression of the song. Same chords, uh, just kind of reversed. Um, so that part is gonna be bring out that A chord because I'm T and T. I'm dynamite. T and T. And I'll win the fight, right? T and T. I'm a power load. T and T. Watch me explode. And then he does that bend. 
And then back to the... Back to the main rhythm. Okay, so that part... Don't you mess around. It's just E, G5, A5. Now when he goes, because I'm G and T, he's going to keep repeating A5, G5, E. So it's reverse. T and T. Now when you get to that E, you can start pumping those eighth notes again. T and T. Oh, it's dynamite. I'll slow it down a little bit. T and T. And I'll win the fight. All down strokes. T and T. I'm a power load. A, G, 5, E. Now, watch me explode. For the watch me explode part, you go back to the G5, A5, and let it ring. You let that ring, and if you want to do that little bend, you're bending the G string at the second fret. Up a whole step, slowly. Wow, a little hard to do on the acoustic, right? Because you just bend that up slowly, and then you go back to that. Dirty, mean, right? Or for the next verse, or for that little guitar solo. But basically, you're going back to that main riff of the song. So it's basically just those two progressions. And that's most of the song right there. Now, if you want to play it like I was doing in the beginning with the more for like just one guitar, percussive element wise, like. And that sounds good for just one guitar. I'm playing basically the same riff that I showed you, but I'm filling it in with eighth notes muted percussively. One and two and three and four and, right? So to, to make this work rhythmically, the patterns that I use, I'm hitting that E chord, down, up, down. And then I catch the G5 on an upstroke. And then a down chuck on the G5. So slow. And then I catch that A5 on an upstroke. And then I play that same riff, third fret low E, A5, third fret low E with a little bend. When I go back to the E chord, up, up, down chuck and then up down chuck so it's basically the same riff except I keep this right hand or this pick hand going throughout same thing as before maybe I'll use more full open chords just let them ring it out a little bit more if it's just one guitar because if you just one guitar you want it to sound as full as possible so there's a few different ways that you could play it. You could do what I did first. You could do that on electric guitar, right? Like they do it on the record. Or if you're on acoustic or just one guitar, you could try it like this. The main thing is, you know, put your own spin on it, have fun with it. TNT by ACDC, and you could do it with one guitar, you could do it with a whole band. Enjoy it, have fun with it. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That really helps me keep bringing the content and ring that subscription bell. Then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. And also, don't forget to click on that link in the YouTube description box to get my free video lesson and ebook. Uh, it's a killer reference book, tons of scales, diagram that will really help you along your guitar journey. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciated. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars, you know. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. See you in the next lesson. <laughs>